this video, we're gonna create a cool stippling brush effect in Illustrator. I love playing around with brushes and you can see here, I created this cool stippling brush effect and I used a skull and it just looks really amazing. It adds a bit of a, you know, retro vibe, vintage vibe, bit of a grunge. Um, texture to it instead of just having a plain flat vector you can actually create these cool effects so you can see if I zoom in here got sort of a um, crosshatch brush and, and a stippling brush there so I'm going to show you how to create this effect first things first we want to make sure that we have a brush so first things first you want to make sure that you have brushes so I actually got my brushes from Envato Elements it's my go-to for fonts, designs, graphics, a whole bunch of stuff. So you can download this cool vintage skull pack. You can actually click the link in my description to check out um, Envato Elements. It's just my affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of a kickback. So I got a skull. I'm going to make an artboard, just a pure black artboard. And I find that the contrast between black and white actually works really well when it comes to this type of icon. So we've got my skull here, and what I've done is I've just sort of cleaned up some of the shapes and just made it a bit more simple. I can probably get, you know, rid of that shape. And what I'm going to do is I've made it into a compound path. So what you want to do is you want to go to Object, Compound Path, and click Make. And because I've already done that, my shape is already good. Because if you have multiple shapes all around, um, then they're different little groups. So you want to make sure that it's just one shape recognized by Illustrator. So make sure that you make a compound path first. Secondly, I'm gonna bring my brushes into here. I'm going with this stippling brush because I, I really like that. This one, it's a really dense and really, really nice. So I'm gonna use that one. And first of all, I'm gonna open up my layers panel and make sure that your skull is in the top layer and then the background is on the bottom and I'm gonna do my brushes in the middle layer. Because when you make a clipping mask, you wanna make sure that the top shape is at the top and the brushes um, can come inside the shape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to create a brush. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to shift X this and then I'm going to just make sure I'm on the right layer and I'm going to start to paint my brush. So I'm going to press B and I'm just going to go along the edges of the skull. I don't want to cover every single inch of it. You can see that my brush is pretty big so I'm going to click that and drop it to about 0.5 points. And you should see the brush actually get a little bit smaller, which is a lot better. So I press B and I'm just clicking and dragging on the areas. I'm gonna like draw through the eyes like that. I don't know what happened there, it disappeared. Uh, I'm gonna go through here, follow the jawline. And I can always come back and edit this the way I want it. So I'm just following the main shape of the skull. Beautiful. What I can actually do is click on my layer on the right side. You'll see a little square. I'm going to press Control G to group everything together. I'm going to click on my skull that I have here. I'm just going to um, press Shift X to flip it back to fill, right? Then what I'm going to do is select everything, right? So I've got this group of the brush. These are all grouped. And then I've got this compound path. And then all I'm going to do is select it, go Object, and we're gonna go down to Clipping Mask and click Make. It's gonna ask you that it's very complex, just click Yes. And hopefully your computer is good enough to run it. Beautiful, awesome. So we can see now we've created this really cool effect and it just looks nice. You can see some areas are not really colored in, so what we can actually do is I can actually double click inside this shape and I can sort of like see the paths inside of it, right? So I can see all these little paths so what I can actually do is find um, one of the brush paths and I want to select the anchor points and just move those points a bit more into this shape. As you can see there, as it's like slowly updating, um, I can bring this one a bit out. I can also add more paths, so I can add another path here to cover the nose area. Um, I think the head is fine. I might bring this a bit more down like that that's really cool and maybe this one a bit more up and you want to always try and you know not do too many paths because it might lag um, and I think that looks better I'm gonna press escape now and it should exit me out and then boom 
I think that's looking really, really cool. I, could have, I sort of like this effect, like fading the nose there. That looks like a fragmented skull. And that's how we create a really cool stippling effect. You can try it with other brushes. As you can see here, um, I've got like, there's this cool pack um, memento brushes. It's not my own, but it's got a whole bunch of like different um, brushes. So I can do the same effect with any different brush. Um, so for example, let me just duplicate this skull and then I'll add another brush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click in the skull. And then once I'm inside that shape in the clip group, I'm just going to select all the brushes. So all the brushes are selected. And then all I have to do is basically just click on one of these other brushes and it will literally change all the brushes to that brush. Oh, there's one little bit that got missed there. And I press escape. And now we've got another cool skull effect with another different brush, more of a cross hatch effect. So thank you so much for watching. That's how you create this cool stippling brush effect. And it just works amazing. You can play around with skulls. You can do it with anything really. It's up to you. So you can just play around and see what you can create. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to thumbs up this video so I know that you like this video. And remember to smash the subscribe button because I create amazing design content every week. So you don't want to miss any video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And remember, you can check out Envato Elements if you want to create um, similar icons or get some graphics. The, the link is in the description. See you in the next video.